Welcome to the aux track tutorial. It's also known as an auxiliary track. And the aux track is useful for a variety of things. You can create a submix of your drums, let's just say, if you were recording live drums. And uh, here's your audio for your live drums, just say as an example. And you can, let's just show you. Theoretically, you could send these to bus one and two, all of them, and then they would end up here. Okay, let's just, if these were drums, okay. Now, in our particular case, we're using this AUGS track as a reverb send, okay. It's receiving these sends, and I've chosen bus one and two, right, as you can see in the AUGS track which is here, the input is one and two, okay? And uh, what we can also do is add plugins to the AUX track, okay? Just like an audio track, okay? Except there isn't any audio data per se. There's no sound bytes in the AUX track. It's just the audio being put through this auxiliary track, which then eventually gets sent to the master fader track, which we will have a tutorial on as well, okay? You can also use an aux track for special effects other than reverb. You could put distortion on an aux track with a guitar track, okay? And you could send that audio to that, let's just say, distortion. In this case, we have reverb, of course. So there's a variety of uses. Now, going back to the idea with the drums, you know, you could, uh, theoretically, you could put, just say, this leveler here and have all, like, let's just say, the snare, the hi-hat, uh, the bass drum, the tom or something, or shaker, whatever, all going out, okay, and I'll just do it just for our sake here, assuming that these were drums, it would go like that. Okay, and then we would all have them in here in the AUGS track being compressed. Okay, and then you could play with the levels to whatever your liking might be. Okay, so, all right. And that concludes the tutorial on the AUGS track. Okay, uh, there's going to be more on other things like automation coming up very soon. And uh, you should be able to really, really engineer and create your music, keeping in mind the different stages that the audio needs to go through in order for the sound to be processed most efficiently and most beautifully. So I wish you well on your musical creations and Looking forward to being with you on the next tutorial.